Hello, good morning. In the morning to you. <laughs> Good morning. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing today? Today we are. I told myself that I wasn't gonna vlog. I, okay, I told myself that I wasn't gonna film another vlog this week because I was like, I'm just not doing much. Like my schedule is like I'm doing a lot but not a lot to vlog y'all are loving the hour-long vlogs. Me too. I love editing them. I love producing them. It's so fun. So. Say hello, baby. Oh my god. I really want to get the patio taken care of because now I have a neighbor on this side of me. I was trying to take them to pee last night. Harley pees on the balcony. Sadie, not so much. The grass that I had showed you guys in the last video, the big grass that I got from Home Depot, it's sitting under trash bags right now because I need to go buy crates for it. So today I need to get crates for that. Then I kind of want to get some like decor for outside. Not decor, but like a rug, some pillows, a table. That's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go to Target. I got to go to Petco to get the, the trays. Might go to like TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Um, I'm not really knowing to be honest where we're going. Um, but we're gonna do a little patio transformation unless the stores have nothing which I've seen a lot here Stores just literally have nothing. And I need a broom Don't let me forget a broom Because I got to sweep all that shit up I literally tried to vacuum it and I was like this is not a smart idea Like who vacuums the concrete nobody but me apparently Let's go do that I'm gonna take these guys out and then I'm gonna see y'all when we get to our first destination what's probably gonna be Target. I want to get some decor stuff too. I'm thinking maybe I'll try to get some decor stuff to put in these shelves. I've already done that shelf with stuff that I've that I've already had, but these shelves. Why isn't it focusing? These shelves. I'm just uh, like, what is this? I don't know. But y'all told me to move these plants because they're toxic to dogs. I'm never buying another plant anymore because I just. Every time I buy a plant, y'all are like, it's toxic. And you know what, I'm done. So all I'm buying from here on out is fake plants. But anyways, I stuck that plant over there and then the other one in the other thing. So don't worry, they're not anywhere near my fur babies. They won't chew them unless they're outside on the patio. So good thing I didn't put them out there, but that's the jade plant, y'all. Which someone had commented and was like, that's not the money plant, but I thought that it was. When I looked it up online, it said that the the jade plant was the good luck money plant. So I don't know. Who's ready to go potty? Who's ready to go potty outside? Who's ready? We are at Petco. Let's go in here and get the trays for the balcony because this is like the this is like the not fun part, but I have to get them. So we gotta do this. Wait, do I have my keys? Don't want anybody driving off with my car. Oh, I almost forgot to put this in my car. I have literally just a bag of change. Um, I took it out when I got my car service. Oh my god, y'all about to be real mad at me. Hold on. Can I tell you how I let these people scam me? Oh my god, you will not even, you will be pissed. You will actually be so mad. Oh, my keys are right here. I had to get new tires, so I take it to, and I needed my car service. And I pay for, when I bought my car, I paid for free services for like, a lot of services like I take it there and I'm like I need my car service and they're like yeah your tires are about to blow and they weren't lying my tires literally you could see there was like no tread on them like they really were about to blow but tell me why they charged me $1,300 and I said yes at first I was like oh no these people are scamming me out the ass and and but then I got scared I got scared because he was like okay well you should do it this week because one of these is about to blow on you and then they made me nervous and I let them scam me. Never again, though. I'm taking my ass to Walmart or Costco next time. I know. I know. I literally already know. Don't worry. Everybody was like, Ashley, you dumb. Like, I already heard it from everybody. Y'all don't need to tell me that I got scammed. I already know. Um, and I knew I was getting scammed. That's the shitty part. Anyways, let's just go into Petco before I fucking get mad. <laughs> they only have this one. And it has, like, a little chip thing on it. I'm thinking I could just glue it because I really don't want to go anywhere else. And this one's, like, perfect size. It's, like, big looking a little nasty but i think that it'll do they literally don't have any more crates only these really fucking tiny ass ones so i'm gonna try to make this work i think it'll work it's pretty big it's way bigger it's like double times the size of the tray i have now so 
I'm just gonna get it. We'll make it work if it's really. I'm gonna tell them about the ding. Maybe they could like take a little bit off. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that was quick and painless. I cannot wait to go home and put the grass in that. It makes me nervous. Like <laughs> growing grass on trash bags. I don't know. Like it just seems weird. I don't know. The guy was like the guy that moved in my neighbor next door was like looking at me like I'm some weird bitch like growing grass on my balcony. I didn't like say like could y'all take a pro like some money off this because it's a little broken broken um but she was like you could just tape it up i'm like okay well that's a solution but when she rang it up um it said it was 65 dollars, but when she rang it up it said 39 so i don't know if they already like price marked it down or what but i was like oh i'll take it for thir the 39 you know I, was, I wasn't about to say anything i was like let me keep my mouth shut because that is way cheaper than the 65 that it was priced at in the back so i have a whole list did i bring my list i did i have a whole list of things that i need from target here's my list um and then on the back i wrote how i want the design of the patio to go look at my drawings <laughs> like bitch what is that okay you guys i've been doing just a little too much damage i found a lot of stuff that i liked even like sheets look y'all told me to get sheets on etsy but i couldn't find anywhere that had like a color that i like but i really like this like camel color i don't know that's what they call this i really like these pillows but i don't like the fact that you can't take the covers off and wash them so i might just end up buying some cover some big pillows like this on amazon for my bed we did get a rug for outside so that's a plus i'm not really finding much that i care for for the outside but i found just a bunch of other stuff but these are so cute and they would match the comforter so good i just don't know if i like the fact that i can't take the things off and wash them and they're white but i need to get some oat milk so they don't have my oat milk y'all i'm so sad the chobani oat milk they don't have it i wanted to get some of these these freezer bags wait $15 what the fuck I think these are so cool though I definitely want to get some of these two bags for $8.99 should I get these ones I might as well just get the five for 16 right for the past two years I couldn't find this swivel stick okay this is the best chapstick in the entire world I got two because I haven't seen these in literally years so Go get you one of these from your local Target. If they have them, they might not. I spent way too much money in Target. Just a little too much for my liking. And those bags, those reset bags were $20. If I seen that, I would have taken that shit off. There's no way we are going to another store. I pride myself on being able to save money. And sometimes I just spend it a little faster than I am receiving it. And so... <laughs> um it's good for me to just like take a break you know we can do what we can today at least i got rugs and that tray so we can at least kind of make it seem a little nicer we can sweep up the patio so we're gonna do that I keep just telling myself that these are pieces that when i buy a house i'll use in my house so i might as well buy it now you know what i'm saying like an investment not an investment but Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I might as well buy some pieces now. All I've been doing, I feel like living here is wasting my motherfucking money. Next month I wanted to buy a couch and I'm like, my ass is still gonna be just sitting on the motherfucking ground. Oh my baby. Oh my god. One sticky bean, one sticky bean. Oh my god. And two sticky beans, two sticky beans. Oh my god. Let me kiss your face, Harley. Oh, I cannot, she's so sad. I cannot kiss your face. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I got this because I just thought it would fit the vibes. And this to go. I just thought this was so cute. I was looking at one on Amazon, but they have one at Target for the outside, which is perfect. It's like woven material. A dustpan because I got to clean up out there. It's looking messy. And I, I don't like mess. I'm like, I need to get up and I need to fix the patio because it's going to bother me that it's like looking so messy out there. Then I'm about to wash these right now so we can put these on the bed. I love this brand. This is the brand that I use for all my sheets. It's the Threshold brand. Their flannel sheets are really good. I love flannel sheets. It's going to be my first time not sleeping on flannel sheets, which kind of scares me, but these felt pretty soft. So 
let's see it's literally just the sheet so it was like really inexpensive it still fits and ties into my like theme which is good oh wait this is the flat sheet don't tell me now that I did not buy a fitted sheet. So I didn't buy a fitted sheet. I'm a dumbass. There's literally nobody dumber than me. It's the flat sheet, it's not the fitted. Okay, so. Yeah, what the? Oh my god, I don't know. Um. Oh my god, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> These that were $20 for five of them. Then I got two of these cocoa butter swivel sticks because I told y'all, best, best lip balm. Like the best. And it's so big. Oh my God, I haven't seen one of these inside of a Target since like 2017. I'm not gonna lie, that Target that I went to was so stocked up with such good shit. I was like, oh my God, I'm about to come here more often. But look at it. It's so good. I look every time I go to Target because this is my favorite lip balm. So, you know, I had to get two because I was like, how am I supposed to know when these are coming back in stock? The Palmer's Cocoa Butter Swivel Stick. I got regular Epsom salt because I needed regular Epsom salt for Harley's Paws. It's literally just the Target brand. I got this because I've been wanting one of these. This is only $3. It's literally to toss my salad. So, I need to make a salad today. After I washed that. So I tried to do a little handy DIY thing with my Swiffer, my Swiffer wet jet, and I poked a hole in the top of the this thing and filled it with my own like cleaning stuff. And tell me why it leaked out everywhere. Everywhere. Like I set it in the closet and it was like leaking. I was like, um, no. Like how the fuck is that? It comes from the bottom. How is it leaking out the top? I don't know. So I had to get new for wet jet stuff and this is the lemon zest scent my little febreze plug-in that i got from ollie's which was so cheap i need to go back to ollie's but my little febreze plug-in i got they last so long i can't even believe how long this shit lasts like but i'm gonna do the vanilla one because i got a vanilla bag i'm so excited i just love a good nice smelling house and so that's what i want a nice good smelling house Oh my god, like yeah. Fresh baked vanilla. That is the scent. And I'm gonna turn it all the way max up. Okay, it's gonna smell like a bakery in here. And um, the last time we had gone to Walmart, y'all seen that I got Glade candles. I feel like when you live alone, you like um, do more things. So I feel like I burn more candles. I don't know, that's just how I feel. As stupid as that sounds, I don't know why. It's true. I just burn more candles when I live alone. I don't know. I light them every single day. I got the big Glade ones because I really actually do love the Glade scents. Personally, a lot of candles for me, I just do, I think that they are overpowering. They over smell the house and it almost smells bad to me when they're like super overpowering. The Glade ones, I just feel like they're like the perfect amount of scent for me. They're just not super overpowering I got the pumpkin caramel and spice see i got the big ones and these are four dollars no these are five dollars because they're 4.97 i believe cookie caramel rush limited edition because of the fall y'all know the fall scents i just thought that one smelled really good and then this is like one of my favorite ones i love the fall time these are like my favorite months for real my favorite months okay harley baby i'm gonna need you to get off for two seconds baby okay come on come here Come here, Harley. Come here. Oh, my baby. Harley is so good, you guys. Can't, like, stress enough that she is, like, <laughs> she listens so good. I, I don't even, it's like she's a human. She really understands me. I don't even know how to describe it. She's just so good. She's just such a good girl. Sadie, on the other hand, my little devil demon. My little devil demon. You my little devil demon. And she's perfect. Sadie is perfect. Y'all know I love my dogs. But Harley is just like incredibly, Sadie's smart too in her own ways. Harley's just like incredibly intelligent. I feel like she, it's like she understands English. I don't know what's, I don't know how that bitch does it. It's looking like it's gonna fit. As long as I just tuck it under. 
I do like this color though. We're gonna wash it and then we're gonna see. Um, because I don't know y'all. I just don't know about it. What the hood gon' be? I don't need no fucking hook on this beat. Only singing still good on these streets. Get a four whip and still pushing on E. Came a long way from nice we didn't eat. Came a long way from 75th Street. Can you house trapping? I need everything sweet. Why did I come in here? Oh, to get my vacuum. This thing is so good. This is my shark rocket. It has seen better days. This is so weird, but if y'all have a vacuum that you really like. Um, I'm in the market for, I love this vacuum, but I'm kind of in the market for a vacuum, like a different one. I've seen one, y'all know me and cleaning YouTube, but I love cleaning YouTube. I could watch cleaning videos all motherfucking day because I enjoy cleaning. I love it, it's so fun for me. I've seen this girl using a, I got sand in my eye, a mop and vacuum two in one. I'm like, don't do this to me right now because I'm about to order it. I really am, I really am. Anyway, so but let's go. Sweep this sand up, or vacuum this sand up, and then we're gonna put the chairs back out, the rugs out. I think once everything is done, it's gonna look so good. Let me show y'all what I've done so far. It's looking, this one is like coming up a little bit because I had to try to make four fit on this tray, but that's my old grass. It's growing so nice. It like, it grows so good in the trays. See how close I am to that person's balcony? Going along right here, I'm gonna put ivy so it feels more like like from here down. I'm gonna put ivy so it feels a little bit more like secluded to them. It doesn't go all the way, but I think it's fine. I think they would like it. So yeah. Do y'all like that right there? I kind of like it. And then I'm gonna put my table once I get one right here, and then I'm gonna get black pillows. I think I kind of like that. I think that looks pretty cute. I'm getting sad now that I didn't go to Marshalls. See how cute that is? Oh my god, stop. For right now, this is the situation going on with the patio. I got this rug with the black chairs with their little area and then maybe I could get some fake plants to go like here. Oh, I really want a middle table and some pillows and then I think it'll be perfect. I really do. I can't wait. So simple and like sleek. Said it's gonna rain the past three days. I haven't felt one sprinkle. Oh, no ma'am. You are gonna have to tell me why. <laughs> why don't I read shit? Why is this so tiny? These little eight ounce bags, and these were $20? These, five of these were $20? No, this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say shit's gotta go back. I should've got the two for $8. I'm so dumb. Why did I think these were so much bigger? Okay, that's gotta go back. I need to get better at taking stuff back that I don't like instead of living with something. $20, like, no. Tomorrow. It said it was coming on Wednesday, but then I checked and it said it's now arriving tomorrow. My Ugg comforter. Y'all, remember how I said it was not in stock? I bought the wrong one, but they look identical. So I'm hoping that it works. I also got it in a king size. The other one is way cheaper. That's probably why it's sold out. I always get my bedding in a king. I know when I get a house, once I'm not in an apartment anymore, which you know will happen in the next Hopefully five years, I'm in a house that I either built or bought myself. Okay, those are my goals. I know that when I get in a home, I will get a king bed and then all my comforters will fit a variety. So you don't have to go out and buy all new bedding. 
you get what I'm trying to say. Like you have tons of comforters and tons of stuff that will fit. I buy new bedding approximately every year. I'll buy a new comforter. So that one was from the end of 2020. This new one is the end of 2021. You guys, we are like approaching the end of 2021. It's actually crazy. Anyways, let me stop talking because I just rambled so long. You guys are like, I literally don't care. Oh, good morning, guys. Fuck, I forgot to charge my camera last night. I need to call to make a vet appointment today. First, we're going to get, I'm going to go get me a pumpkin cream cold, bro, because I was woke up and just thinking about it. Hold on. God. Almost seems like everything I do here, I have to work 12 times harder to like, I don't know, like live. I don't, I don't know how to describe that. Everything keeps just like testing me. You get what I'm saying? Like I, I have no clue why that keeps happening. I had so many things I wanted to do today, but now I have to redo a sponsorship which is okay because you know they pay for it so it's like i i complete whatever someone needs to be changed i'll change it but this is like the third time that i've had to change it and i've never ever had to do that with like these specific people so it's kind of like oh my god i move here and then like i keep having these problems and then harley's pause and then other stuff going on in my personal life it's like what is happening right now like i'm just having so many like weird problems and they're not problems trust me i know everybody has it so much worse but it's like let me complain for two seconds because it's it's weird the shift is weird i'm not complaining i'm just thinking like what is going on right now like it's very i don't know like an uncomfortable feeling almost um, yeah it's okay though one day at a time that's how i'm taking it i love to plan out my weeks but I can't do that anymore because stuff happens and stuff comes up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go get a little cold bro, let my camera charge. And then that's what we're going to do today. Kind of boring, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, at least my bedding's coming today. Oh my God, that will just make my day so much better. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys um, when I get back. guys look at what came only one of the packages though i feel like that's kind of weird like wouldn't they all come together every time i've ordered off of boohoo and it was multiple packages they all came together so that's kind of odd i feel like this is the star these are the star of the show i think these are so cute i don't really care for much um like flip-flop looking things but these are so cute. I like already know how I want to style and pair those. So that's going to be super fun. But yeah, literally all of this is like legging sets because I wanted like um, just like nicer clothing to run my errands in. We're about to do this bedding. I'm so excited to open this up and see what it's looking like. See if it's feeding the vibes that I hope it does. It's like poking out of this um, thing. Oh my God in like a big ass duffel bag. <laughs> I love these Target sheets, by the way. Me too. They felt so good when I was sleeping last night. We're about to take it out. My God, how did they wrap this thing in here? Like, how did you get this in here? It's giving even better vibes than I thought it would. Watch out. I'm gonna wash this comforter, even though I just washed it last week. I'm gonna wash that one so I can stick it on the other bed. <gasps> oh my god, this is so beautiful. No. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? It's perfect. These pillows that I have under here, these are Ugg pillows. $40 each for f of pillows. I gotta get king size pillows. Decided that I like the blankets to look messy and like hanging off the side. Oh my God. I'm literally getting horny looking at this bed. <laughs> like look at it. Look at it. Don't mind the pillows cause they need to be like fixed and situated and all that. But 
Oh my God. It's looking like my dream bed. Look. Oh my goodness. No, I'm like actually obsessed with it. It's looking so gorgeous. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I'll see y'all later. I have to do my makeup now and um, do some stuff. Do some like work related stuff, but oh, I'm so happy. All right, y'all, just took some Instagram photos. So I wish I vlogged it because it was actually so fun. I just went to like the top of my. Can you stop? I just went to the top. I went to the top of my building and just took some photos. It was very fun, very short. Um, because I got some that I liked within like the first two minutes, so that usually doesn't happen to me But anyway, so I went down to the office And checked to see if they had my other package they don't so if it says that both these packages deliver I'm gonna be like Not one thing y'all. I'm telling you it's the next like I just don't you Okay, I just don't know what is going on here? FedEx brought my comforter and one of the Boohoo packages. But like- Where's the other Boohoo package? Because I'm feeling so sad today. I hope that my days get better. But I'm just feeling so sad. Like I just kind of feel like- <laughs> I hate to say this. But I'm just feeling like I really miss my life in California. And I miss- my well my mom that was gonna say my family but i miss my mom really a well like adaptable person like i could almost move anywhere and adapt and adjust you know so it's really kind of bothering me that everything just kind of seems like it's going wrong it's just little things harley harley already licked up my comforter i know that you fucking didn't the only thing that's really going good is like that i have more alone time and I can like work on me more, you know, that's like the only really good thing and that my apartment's beautiful That's literally it So I'm just feeling kind of down and sad today Maybe I'll order some food Maybe something off of like uber eats or something. I literally just want to sit around and do nothing <laughs> Um, I'm not having a good day Um, at least I got cute instagram photos. I do love it here and I love florida. I just feel like I'm having so many problems. It's only like every day it's just new problems for me. My digestive problems, Harley's problems, um, all the issues dealing with like all my like work issues that I've been having, my personal life issues. I'm just feeling like I have so many issues all of a sudden. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If you guys have any like <laughs> any idea what I should do, please let me know. I just, I don't know. Truthfully and honestly, I'm just feeling like really sad just wish i had enough money to like already build a home and build a home in like the area that i want i already know where i want to like build a home i would love to do that i just don't have the funds to do it you know and i'm not sitting here complaining i'm just maybe if i got my ass up and worked a little more i would have the funds but i don't so yeah that's kind of sad but it's okay I'll catch you guys later. Maybe we'll go, um, I gotta figure out what I want to eat first, actually. They have such good food here. If I was feeling like taking a drive, they have this Hawaiian place here, like, on the beach. And I crave Hawaiian food so much. That's, like, my comfort food. Hello, you guys. It is days later. Tuesday, I think. And now it's Thursday. So I didn't talk to you guys at all yesterday. Um, yeah, your girl was sad. Last time we talked, I was sad. I went and got um, fast food. I sat in bed, watched some Disney movies. I was just, like, honestly having a time by myself. I, it's kind of what I needed. Just, like calming day to just sit and do nothing because i was like not feeling my best obviously you guys seen i was just like not feeling good i was feeling like i made a mistake moving here um over the past 24 hours from how i was feeling i'm not 100 like woohoo like bouncing off the fucking walls you know what i'm saying but i am feeling a lot better about my situation i'm about to get my nails done I looked up the nail place and I thought that this was the right place. I'm not sure. I still think it might be the right place. It's just looking so different from the last time that I seen it. 
a year ago. I went to Starbucks this morning, got me some kale egg bites, and Starbucks hack. If you go to Starbucks and you get a latte, what are you doing? You need to just get however many espresso shots you want and then get them to put the milk in there um, and the, you know, um, flavors of your choice. I don't get flavors, I get stevia. Ice double espresso with oat milk and two stevias. And if I had just ordered this as a latte, it would be $5. But if I order it just like this, it's like two, it's $3. It's no sun out, but I'm still gonna put my glasses on. What are you doing, babes? Everybody asks me where these glasses are from. Fashion Nova, really, really inexpensive, nice glasses. I think these were like $8, like, okay. All right, let's go because this person's parking next to me. So let's get on the fuck up out of here. Hopefully they can do my nails. I don't have an appointment, so we'll see. We're done at the nail place. She did such a good job on my toes. That bitch took like an hour to do my um, pedicure. She did such a good job. So I tipped her really well. I don't like my fingernails though. I should have added a tip. They don't look that bad on camera to be honest. No, they just need to grow out like a little bit more because I'm just not fucking with it. Like they're so short. Give you guys my toes. They're pink. Can you see? But yeah. So that's the nails. Telling me she gay. Um, what am I gonna do with it? Check on her titties. Anyways, we're at Costco. I need to get gas here because Costco gas so cheap. Nobody told me that Costco gas was literally so cheap. Sorry, I'm like watching people to see if they take their cart back. Um. I'm such a fucking, oh my God, I wanna see what she does with it. Oh my God, she's looking like she's gonna bring it over here. If you put that shit next to my car, I'll literally fight you. Did she stick it in a spot? Stuck it in a spot, not the cart return. It's not very hard to find the cart return and just walk it back. Like, people just really make me mad. And they said that it's like the ultimate test of like if a person will do good in given the situation because it's not illegal, right? No one's forcing you to do it. You literally have to do it out of the good will of your own heart. So I thought that was interesting. You know, the cart test is like the test of to see if somebody will do good in a situation where they're not forced to do good. Do you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I sit and watch people and just, I'm like, it's so interesting, you know, to just see like what people decide what they want to do. I literally get so sidetracked. I don't think I have ADHD, but sometimes I'm just like, I, my mind can't focus. I don't know if that's ADHD, ADD. My mind can't stay on one thing for not nearly as long as it should, you know? I think that's why I didn't do well in school. Anyways. Okay, I'm in the chip aisle. I actually found something so cool. First of all, I'm getting regular Doritos because I told y'all how I wanted to buy like more of these snacks for when I'm craving something. But then I found these, which is literally like keto Doritos. Um, like has like way less carbs. So I'm gonna get some of those because they look good. And then grain free tortilla chips to make my nachos. I'm getting like so many chips and I know I want a bag of Skinny Pop. These are so good. Oh wait, I don't like the white cheddar. The regular ones of these are, so the nacho cheese ones of these are really good. Pita chips. No skinny pop. They have um, boom chicka pop, which I might get. Found it, y'all. My God, so many chips. But I found it right here, $5.99 for that big ass bag. And a regular bag in the store that literally has like two pieces of popcorn in it is like $4. This is fun because in this vlog, it's not Trader Joe's, it's Costco. It's something like completely different. I got really just a lot of random stuff. Two bags of skinny pop. This skinny pop I feel like is like superior. Something about it in the bigger bag, it tastes better. I don't know what it is. These omelets are so good. Three cheese omelets from 
Costco, this is like one of my favorite breakfasts. You literally put it in the microwave. So simple, so easy. You guys know I like to make my um, nachos. So I thought that these would be fun. I love this brand. So these are just grain-free tortilla chips. Rotisserie chicken because I love these and they're so cheap. Each of these is $5. And you can get a bunch of meals out of these. My dogs love this chicken. It's just good. Two rotisseries, okay? And then I kind of want to try these, but I kind of don't want to open it. But I kind of do. They're literally keto. I'm not keto and I don't follow any specific like keto thing. But I like some of the keto stuff because it's like lower carb, you know? Um, but these are basically keto Doritos <laughs> called High Low Life. And maybe we'll try those this weekend. But I thought that, that was kind of cool. A lot of like chip things. I had Doritos in my cart and then I put them back because I was like, even though they were super cheap, there was like a big ass bag for $6. They always have Doritos, so if I really am wanting them that bad. And Doritos are gluten free, by the way. I figured since I was gonna try these, like there's no point in getting two bags of like basically the same. Thing and I really wanted to try those. But then I got cauliflower. Maybe I'll have this for dinner tonight. No, I'm not. I need to eat up the rest of my vegetables that I have. But cauliflower crust, roasted vegetable pizza. I just thought that that sounded good. It looks good. Um, avocados. I don't really get my produce things at Costco because it's too much for me to eat. Like it'll just go bad. Like I, there's no way that I can possibly eat like that much grapes. Like the grapes are like this big. Got some turkey sausage links because I'm running out of my turkey bacon and I like to have these with eggs. Um, chop them up, put them in an omelet, you know, something like that. Just got some more seasonings because I love a lot of seasoning on my Brussels sprouts and I've been making Brussels sprouts every day. Dash, salt free. Isn't it Mrs. Dash? the salt-free original seasoning blend. Made me some lemon water. I got these because I was making lemon water and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy these next time I see them because I don't like the seeds when the seeds get out. <sighs> so then I got this premium chunk chicken breast. I love canned chicken. I don't know what it is about it. Something about it is very good to me. Tuna, this thing of tuna, this is eight packs of tuna. It is a bigger can. This was $16, y'all. I just was spending a lot of money. More Beyond Burgers because I love these as a, um, not really eating red meat like that. Just, I don't know. I'm just like not really, I don't even have a reason. I just not really eating red meat like that. I've been buying these in replacement. These are what I use for my taco meat, you know, with a bunch of seasonings and stuff like that, or I'll just make them up like that. Put it with a piece of cheese. It obviously doesn't taste like a burger at all. It, I'm not even gonna lie, like it doesn't taste like a burger at all, but they're really good and I really honestly do like them. Now this, oh my God, this is the star of the show. Did it get wet? Why is it looking like that? This sauce is so good. I cannot wait to put this on something. Like I don't even know what I'm gonna put it on. Lately for dinner, I've been having just chicken, tons of veggies, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, all of that. So I'm gonna, Put this maybe with that that would be so good um but this is the bitchin sauce the chipotle one is my favorite one i think all of the rest of them are really not that good i think there's one other that i liked but so good this stuff is really really good it's literally made with fucking almonds like that's literally it dip it with chips what does it say dip spread smother on your favorite food yeah it's just really good it's like an almond dip this is like not looking like a lot of food what the fuck did i get for two hundred dollars i got these green tea like a green tea, it says green tea and citrus. I'm like about to crack one of these open right now. It's looking so good, I love green tea. Harley, Harley, you so cute. Harley had her vet appointment today, guys, and she did so good. This one came and did so bad. She barked the whole time while they were trying to help Harley. Oh my God, it's raining so crazy out here. But oh my God, Harley, you did so good. Even the guy was saying how good she was doing. When they put her on the scale though, she did shit a little bit. A little bit of liquid poos, but you know. It's okay, huh, Harley? Harley. Yeah, they gave me allergy meds for Harley. Medication is gonna help her to relieve the itch in her paws. I've never had them on heartworm medication, so I was like, I need to get them on heartworm medication ASAP. They did a heartworm test and it was negative. Harley was so good. Harley has gotten so much better. I was like wanting to cry because I was like feeling like a proud mom moment. She just like allowed the person to hold her, let them pet her. It was so good. So anyways, these 
Keto Doritos. Oh my god, I should have got bags. These are so good. They literally just taste like healthy Doritos. This green tea from Costco that I got the other day, that big ass pack that I got, these are so good. I had I drank two last night. Okay, the rest of my boo package came three days later. We'll just open it. Don't mind me wearing this dress and that yellow dress every single freaking day. It's probably all I've worn in this vlog. But it's literally all I have. That's why I had to order some more clothes. I got this cute little pink halter top. It's looking big. Okay, this is gonna be way too big for me. Damn, I struggle finding stuff that fits me good because you know what I'm saying. Okay, anyways, I got these leggings. I got a bunch of these legging sets, which are so comfy. I love these. I was wearing the brown one the other day. And I think I should have got them. I got them in an extra large. I don't know if I'm getting skinny. <laughs> these are actually pretty big. They're still good to run errands in. I'm hoping once I wash them. What are these made out of? I'm hoping once I wash them, they will get smaller because they give me a little bit of big dick energy. Okay, not even big dick energy. Like they give me big dick. I wore it to get my toes done, the little outfit. And the girl was like looking at me I think she literally thought I had a penis. And I was like, okay, whatever. What the fuck is this? Not that they didn't send me the wrong dress. This is a shirt, bitch. This is not a dress. This is a literal shirt. In what world is this a dress? <laughs> are they kidding? I'm sorry, what? These people are psychos. A matching, a matching top to one of the matching leggings. I bought these legging sets. I bought them in this color. I bought it in white and I bought it in brown. I wanted like little basics like this. Um, and I'm seeing that I got everything literally in the wrong size. So I'm hoping that this fits me good. Cause this set I was really, really excited about. It's like a maxi skirt in this like really interesting like neon green. It buttons up. I mean, you could probably wear something under it and not button it up. Like one of my little skims bralettes under there. Stop, that looks so cute. I love dresses and like skirt sets. I don't nearly wear them enough. I mean, I wear a lot of dresses, I feel like, because they're so easy and they make you look so, you don't even have to wear makeup. You just immediately look put together, you know? This is looking so big. Let's try on the yellow shirt and see if that's fitting because it's not looking like that's gonna fit. Okay, wait, it's not fitting good. Look at that, look at how big that is. I'm telling y'all, I'm like tiny. Like I'm a tiny person. I can't tie this because of my fucking hair. And why is one way longer than the other? What the hell is going on here? Bitch, I don't know. This is kind of cute though. Like, bitch, huh? What a vibe. I'm really sad. It still looks cute as a top. I'll keep it as a top. But, oh my God, this shit is so lame. This is like the lamest boohoo haul I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna have to sew it. Like, look at that, how much more room I have. My boobs, like, that's just not gonna do how they're, like, flapping around like that. Like, they're already not perky. I have to go like that. I could always cut it right here and then do it as a tie. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the shirt right here. Let me do it right now. Yeah, usually I don't like shirts like this because they pull on my neck. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Good now. It's holding them in now, at least, so that's good. Yeah, this outfit is cute. I'm probably have to wear a bra under this, though. Couldn't probably just wear the shirt by itself, but cute outfit. The pinks match, like, literally damn near perfectly, so. Life hack. I literally just cut the shirt that I just bought and to make it fit my needs. Um, okay. Okay, it's giving granny vibes. Why was it not giving these vibes on the internet. I think in a photo with my little shoes on, it could look cute. Um, it's not looking too bad here with my makeup and hair done, maybe. I don't know, y'all. At least my butt looks good. That's really all that matters. Like, why is some of their stuff fit good and some of their stuff doesn't fit good at all? This boohoo haul is gonna be a no from me. It's not bad, it's just not giving. Like, it was looking like it was going to. A lot of people ask me where these were from. My fuzzy hot pink slides, Fashion Nova. I'm telling you, like, they just never fail me. 
I know people talk shit about Fashion Nova. Um, hopefully next time I order clothes, I'll have a better haul for you guys. Maybe y'all can link some good places that you prefer or that you like down below better than um, Boohoo and Fashion Nova. I was looking at shopping on Cider, Shop Cider. I was looking at them through Instagram and they look pretty good. I don't know. I just don't know where to shop. Like, I don't know where I need to put my trust into next. I love y'all. Bye, Bugles. I'll see you in the next motherfucking video. Uh. <laughs> I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Bye, Bugles.